If you want to hit the ball pure like that and make stop taking a divot behind the ball, listen up because I've got a really simple drill and an explanation for why you continue to chunk shots. In general, there's only two common causes that cause people to hit behind the shot on an iron, behind the ball. The first one is they tend to hang back on their right leg. Weight shift is absolutely paramount for a proper golf swing. And so if you're one of these guys that's hanging back on your back foot like this, you can also hit it very thin like that. But generally, if you're being really aggressive with your right side and you can't shift your weight back to the left, you're always gonna chunk it. And until you learn how to shift your weight, nothing is gonna change. But fixing the weight shift stuff is pretty easy for most golfers. We, the RST five step system, step one is all about weight shift. That's how important it is. We prioritize just getting your weight shifted correctly back and through. But the harder stuff to fix is understanding how to create the proper impact alignments. So when we're talking about impact alignments, talking about the position of your arms, your body, the club, all of that stuff at the moment of truth when it really, really matters. And for most golfers, they look like this. Their left wrist is starting to cup. If this looks like you, listen up, because it's gonna start to change the way you strike the ball forever. Start the wrist starts to cup, the right wrist starts to get fully released. The shaft is now almost leaning backwards away from the target and the club bottoms out behind it and then scoops up into the ball. If that's you, then to fix that, there's one thing and one thing only you need to do, and that is start practicing with your lead arm. Your left arm, for most golfers are right-handed playing golf with right-handed clubs. If you, as soon as you start working on left-handed drills, notice where the club starts bottoming out here. As you can see, the club's bottoming out way up here which is about three or four inches in front of the ball when I go left hand only because it's gonna bottom out at the point, the furthest distance from the center of my shoulder socket, which is where my arm and club are pivoting from. So if I don't move my shoulder at all, that club bottoms out way up here. How on earth would I ever hit that ball fat? Well, I couldn't. Doesn't make any sense at all. Notice where the divot is every single time. It's way up here. Now, if I do it with my right arm, where's the divot gonna bottom out? Huh, that's interesting. I'm not even looking, not trying, but notice where the club is. Every time it's way back here. So I've got one divot way up here, one divot way up here. Which one's gonna create the fat shot? The one that's overusing the right arm. Learning how to use your lead arm correctly in the golf swing is really the crux of the swing. If once you understand how this stuff works, your divots are gonna be way up here and you're gonna start catching the ball clean every time, which is why I did a whole series on understanding how to take a divot in front of the ball. So this video, I want you to take a look at this preview, this premium video that's gonna show you how to get your lead arm to get the club to bottom out in front of the ball every single time so you can start being a pure iron striker. Learning how to get your divots to start in front of the golf ball instead of even with or even behind it is usually the ultimate goal for most amateur golfers who are used to hitting the ball really fat. So I'm gonna give you a couple quick trips, tips today to show you how to do that to start building the proper swing mechanics into your golf swing to get the divots to start in front of the ball to get you cleaner contact, but also tell you one simple secret that most golfers who are better players know and most amateurs don't. And let's start with that. The trick to golf is that what controls the conditions at impact, and when I say conditions, I mean where the club face is pointing, what the swing plane and path is, how much shaft lean you have at impact, is primarily determined by the left hand and the movements of the muscles in the left side of the body. Unfortunately, most golfers are very right-handed and very right-side dominant, and that's why they get into a position where they're re fully releasing this right wrist. The club face has a ton of loft on it now because I don't have any shaft lean toward the target, and because this is a very dominant motion, it's very common, and that's what most golfers learn to do. The trick is that you've got to learn to move the left hand into the right position at impact, and the only way to do that is to simply train it independent, which is what Rotary Swing Tour does. We, we train each arm independently so that you learn how to control each movement correctly without the confusion and frustration of having some other dominant motion in there that wants to muck up all your hard work. So to learn how to get your left hand in the right impact position, what you want to do is take your normal setup, put a ball in position, and then with your left hand only, choke up on the club. Don't move your body yet. We're going to make it really simple at first. Just make practice swings with your left hand only until you see your divots bottoming out. You'll see I'm taking a little divot in front of the ball here. So it's about, it's bottoming out about you know, two club head widths, about five or six inches or so in front of the ball. Now what's happening here is that my left hand 
Hey there, Chuck Quinton, founder of Rotary Swing University here. I hope you enjoyed the preview of the premium video. I want to show you what you're going to get once you join Rotary Swing because the, our new course for Rotary Swing University is a game changer. It literally walks you through every single aspect of building a perfect golf swing, a powerful and safe golf swing, and all you have to do is literally click next. You don't have to think. All you got to do is follow the drills, watch the videos, click next. Everything is in sequence and walks you through everything you need to know about building the perfect golf swing step by step. And it's not only this amazing course that makes the thinking process takes it all out of the golf swing, but we also offer six free swing reviews from a certified Rotary Swing Tour instructor for every phase of the swing. So with the RST 5-step system, we start with weight shift. Once you master weight shift, we move on to body rotation, we call core rotation. But through each section, we're going to test you. You're going to upload a video of you doing the drills, you doing it in your golf swing, and one of our certified instructors will review your swing and make sure that you're doing the movements correctly so you never have to wonder, did I do this right? Am I getting better? You're going to know for sure. And all you have to do is join today with rotaryswing.com and start improving your golf swing right now. And we're going to give you six free swing reviews and more importantly, a lifetime money back guarantee. That's right. Nobody else in the golf instruction world would dare do this. We're so confident and we've proved our method with over 300,000 golfers around the world that we can guarantee your golf swing is going to improve by following our course. And all you've got to do is do the drills and submit your video for review and our instructors are going to help you each step of the way. And if for whatever reason, if you ever decide that you're not happy and your golf swing didn't really improve, we'll give you every single penny you spent back on your Rotary Swing University tuition for free. So think about it. You've got literally nothing to lose. Go to rotaryswing.com, sign up today, and improve your golf swing once and for all.